Wow, this thing actually works. <laughs> okay, so I think I want to do something a little different today because I've never actually learned how to use a webcam before. And now I'm finally getting that chance. And also because I got really tired of like all the file processing that I had to do with my last video. You wouldn't believe the painful process that was. Oh my gosh. Anyways. Hi. It's me again, and I think this would be the, the best way to close off 2017. So why not go ahead and let's get started. So lately I've talked about my top albums of 2017, my anticipated releases for 2018. And I've talked about a couple other things, but... I think this time I want to go into detail about the new seasons for television shows that I'm looking forward to in 2018. I usually don't talk about television that much on social media or on YouTube, so let's get started. First up on the list is Orange is the New Black Season 6. Now Season 5 released this past June and honestly I can't really put into words just how far the plot, the story, everything about the show has just gone so far. But at the same time, I just can't get enough of it. I'm not going to explain any of it because that would just be spoilers. And I am not a spoiler type. <laughs> Season 6 shooting began in July and a few cast members have been going into detail about what's gonna, what's gonna happen, how this past season is going to impact the remainder of the show so if you like me have been keeping up with this TV show you don't understand how, what I'm talking about and if you're as stoked as I am great <laughs> I hate being alone on these types of things but you gotta find your you gotta find your grouping somewhere but Orange is a New Black season 6 there is no confirmed release date but it is more than likely gonna be set to come out this year and if you need any other, if you need any more information, I will put the link in the description below. Next up is Stranger Things. Well, this, this is one of Netflix's biggest shows that has been getting a lot of attention, a lot of reception, a lot of good reception, a lot of good press. Literally, I don't think there's anything that can go wrong with this TV show, the cast, the story, everything. Like, everything about this show is just so spot on. I really can't put into words how excited I am for the next season. A third and fourth season have actually already been confirmed, and the writers have mentioned that if we can make it to a, to a third and fourth season, then we can definitely make more. Who knows how long Stranger Things can last, because, you know, some shows don't last. Some shows do. Some contracts are impossible to renew, and so forth. I mean, because we've all heard stuff about Sense8, and how the finale is coming in 2018, but there's only been, like, what, three seasons? So be it. But I really am excited for the next season of Stranger Things. The first two seasons were amazing, and I really can't get over just how good the show has become since its pilot season in 2016, July of 2016. So Stranger Things season three, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Up next on my list is The Seven Deadly Sins. Now, if you know me, whether it's personally or through social media, you know I'm a fucking weave. I'm one of the biggest weaves out there, even though I'm not like fucking cosplayer type of weave, but you know, I'm a huge weave. And upon discovering The Seven Deadly Sins on Netflix, I thought, wow, this is fucking amazing. Like, I mean, it's easy to buy into some anime some, sometimes, but as far as shows like The Seven Deadly Sins, Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, Naruto, shows like that, I go nuts. And that's been my reaction with The Seven Deadly Sins. Now, the first season premiered in 2016 on Netflix, and then a series of OVAs premiered on Netflix this past year, but there was some confusion with that, and people thought that the OVAs were season two, which left a lot of people wondering, why is this season so short? Well, Netflix didn't understand how that worked out, so... They had to re-clarify, I guess. No further details on whether the anime will premiere on Netflix. But, the anime is set to premiere in January. And, a movie is also supposed to be coming out this summer. No further details have been revealed. But, if you need to know where I got this information from, 
as previously said, I'll post, put the links in the description below. But I really like the story, the characters, especially Bond. I think Bond would be my favorite from Seven Deadly Sins, just because he's really laid back. He's a major dickhead. But, you know, you can sense the purity in his heart. In desperate measures, desperate times, things like that. And the relationship that all the all the people that are portrayed as, as the sins have with one another, it's really intriguing, it's really interesting, and I don't think it gets any better than that. It's far from one of the best animes out there, but it's making its way. And I really think it has the potential to become, I guess, one of the new big four. Whatever the hell even the new big four is anymore. <laughs> so yeah, Seven Deadly Sins Season 2. I'm fucking stoked. I don't know when it's going to hit Netflix, but I hope it does soon. Because I'm so ready for it. Moving on, we have BoJack Horseman. You know, from an animated show like this, I would have never expected it to be a, an emotional roller coaster, but it just has. And I don't know how to put this in words. You know, you watch a show like BoJack, and you have voice actors like Will Arnett and Alice and Brie, and you think, wow, this is gonna be a cute show, this is gonna be funny. No, BoJack is not that. I mean, BoJack's funny, but it has its dramatic moments. It has its sad moments. You feel the emotion in the atmosphere when it comes to that show, and you just can't help but just watch it and be like, I wish I could relate, but I can't. I'm sorry, because you guys are cartoons. I'm in reality. Ugh. But season four was, was premiered on September 8th of this year. And then later on that month, season five was greenlit by Netflix. So, although there is no release date confirmed because I'm assuming that, I'm assuming the upcoming season is still in its writing animation process. I'm sure it's, it'll come out. I know it's definitely gonna come out in 2018, but as far as like when, there is no confirmed release date. So if you follow BoJack, if you follow whoever the hell writes for this show, that'll keep you up to date. And maybe I can keep you up to date depending on if you follow my Twitter or anything. Seeing how season four turned out, I really think that season five is going to be just as good, if not better. Like, you remember what I said earlier about how the show was a, was a roller coaster of emotions? Season four was that, but tenfold. I was on the edge of my seat the entire, the entire season. It was just, wow. I couldn't. It was, it was jaw dropping. It was great. It was amazing and i really hope season five does a really good job following up the show up to that point so yeah bojack horseman season five now i'm gonna make this just a little short because i don't really have i'm not really stoked about that many shows that many shows with new seasons coming out this year so to top it off archer season nine or archer danger island now if you've been following the series you know that from seasons one to seven is in Adam Reed's depiction the reality that Archer takes place in but after that a certain time-bending moment happens and it takes away from their reality and it shifts to another perspective another timely perspective the only reason I'm putting it this way is because like I said earlier I am not the spoiler type I hate I hate spoiling things for people it's not my thing. If you want me to tell you about a TV show, I will tell you, but I will not spoil anything for you. I will give you the gist of a description, but I am not the spoiler type. <laughs> I'm repeating myself. I need to stop. <laughs> Archer Danger Island is the second to final season, as confirmed by Adam Reed, because Adam Reed mentioned earlier that he plans to end Archer after season 10, which I think it's I think it's fair enough and every, like seasons two through six have had 13 episodes seasons one and seven have had 10 but seasons eight nine and ten are set to have eight episodes each well season eight already happened so that that was eight episodes and the Archer Danger Island tagline was revealed at San Diego Comic-Con this past year there is no confirmed release date yet but Usually in a timely manner, the new Archer seasons have been coming out in either late March or early April. So you can expect it around that time. If you need any further details, the link will be in the description below. Well, that is it for my anticipated new seasons for TV shows in 2018. I really enjoyed doing 
the videos that I've done this year. Even if I started doing more, like right around the time of this month, I really feel like that um, my short film really brought out the, the YouTuber aspect of what I used to do. And I really hope to continue doing that in 2018. I may or may not have some more plans for 2018. Depending on how the year goes, what my availability is like, what I can and can't make up for this upcoming year, but I'm really excited. And if I do have any further plans, I will be sure to let you guys know. And like I said numerous times before, if you need any information about these upcoming releases or TV shows in 2018, links are in the description. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, subscribe to this channel, my main channel my gaming channel, my mobile channel. And if you haven't seen my short film yet, please check it out. It's one of my biggest projects in four years. It's been receiving a lot of, I suppose, critical acclaim, even though that critical acclaim is mainly just my friends telling me, you did such a great job, which is greatly appreciated. So if you haven't checked it out, I would advise that. And I would also advise you to check out my anticipated albums of 2018, my top five albums of 2017, and so forth. Well, it's been a great year. <sighs> That's bullshit. It's been a year. I'm hoping 2018 will bring bigger and better things. I'm hoping in 2018 I can get back to uploading regularly on YouTube. I hope you all have a happy new year, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.